Hi guys, oh, welcome to another video. Today's video we have a quick basic face to get out the door to go to work. I wanted to use an old concealer that I found in my stash and this was the look I was able to achieve. So if you want to see the products I used, how I applied it, how I was able to create this a very quick look, then make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Let's do a little quick face to get ready for work. I'm going to use my two MAC primers, my MAC Refine Zone and my MAC Skin Base today. I love this combination when I used it the other day, so I'm very excited to use it today. And this is just going to be a very quick face because today is Monday and y'all know how Mondays go. Put the Skin Base all over and then I'll take the refine zone and put it in my t-zone because that kind of like mattifies and like softens my pores right in this area. And my peachy pep and prime me paint pot. What do y'all do on Mondays? Do you even wear makeup on Mondays? Or you just run out the door? Or you actually sit there and take your time on Mondays? You know, Mondays is that day where it's like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> but then once you get past Monday, the rest of the week is like smooth sailing. But for me, I just got to get past the Monday. Just past the Monday. Okay, for foundation today, we're using concealer. I haven't used my buddies in a while. I purchased one of these just recently because they were on sale at Nostrums. I don't know if Lancome is getting rid of it, but it's my Tinty Doll All Over Concealer in the shade 495 for the face shade and 460 for the highlight shade. This performs just, this is like $24. Uh, this performs just as good as the foundation if, you know, you just wanted to try a concealer as your foundation instead of buying a full foundation. This works just as well, in my opinion. I love it. Although I haven't used it in a while. And I, I don't know. I, brought, I just brought another 495 shade. But I should have got like another highlight shade because 460, I'm going to show y'all, 460 highlights on me. But like if I want it to be just a little bit brighter, you know, I could get like a brighter shade. I'm waiting on my mix to come from Ulta. I need to come soon because I'm down to the, to the wire. Let's blend this out. Smooth, just like the foundation. This would be a perfect piece of makeup to take if you were going like on vacation and didn't really want the frustration of doing foundation, concealer, highlight, contour, all of that. Like this would be perfect. It's small. You can carry it in your luggage with no problem. Won't be heavy. Don't have to worry about it breaking on you. Like this would be perfect. And it gives you just, it's full coverage. 
It's full of coverage, or you can go lighter, depending on your preference. But y'all see what it gave me? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, this is 460. Now y'all about to see. This is 460, yeah. How much highlight it gives me. See? It gives me... This looks like... Everything looks like fawn to me. I always say, oh, this looks just like fawn. I always tell y'all that. I'm like, this looks just like fawn. <laughs> everything looks like fawn to me. Like if I want it to be just a little bit lighter, but Nostrum doesn't have it on sale anymore. I guess that was only while they were trying to get rid of the older version of the foundation that they had that on sale. So I know one thing. I've got to go to Target this weekend because this is down. This is all the way down. Well, my mirror just be in the way and I just be going. My mirror be in the way. But y'all see how much highlight it gives me? Not like a whole, whole lot. But I do look highlighted. Y'all see? I guess this is subtle enough. You know what I mean? Take my new Studio Fix Pro Set Blur Powder in Medium Deep. Get it. Get it. Get it. You ready for the summer? Get it. You ready for the winter, fall, spring? I don't care what you ready for. Get this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Y'all know when I on my channel, I don't really tell y'all. They be like, go pick this up. But only on certain things. I'll be like, you need it. This right here. You need this in your collection. And especially if you're a MAC girl. Come on. You got to have it. I'll go shopping with you. We'll go shopping together to the MAC store. I do have a MAC store in my area. Although I don't go to it because it's in like the historic district. So it's like the tourist district. They're real crowded all the time. <laughs> From morning until night. Until the next day crowded. Like all the time. Can't find parking in that area. So I never go to it. Not unless it's like I'm off like during the week sometime. Like a, we got a holiday or something. And then I can go because we're well, not even a holiday. Because if it's a holiday, it's going to, oh, look at this powder, y'all. Look. <sighs> okay. Calm down. You gotta go to work. You're doing good timing. My Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Black Coffee. I just, now, I just really want to go in the Mac store and see if I was missing something. Like, if some more new stuff came out along the way and I just missed it. Because not a lot of the girls here on YouTube talk about Mac like they used to. And I guess because there's so many things new things coming out that Mac kind of gets like under the rug you know what I mean we got to do a real simple eye look let me grab a very comfortable palette a little bit of my makeup revolution and dark eyeshadow base 
So it took me 10 minutes to do the face part. What do y'all wear to work? If you work like in a corporate setting, what do you wear to work? All of my bottoms seem to be black pants. Like I got 1,002,762 pairs of black pants. <laughs> like I think those are the easiest things in the world to, all I gotta do is pick a top, you know? So I, I just know I got some black pants, some wide legs, some skinny, some straight legs, some some ankles. <laughs> That's the easiest thing for me is to throw on a pair of black pants, find a top, throw on some flats, maybe some heels, depending on how I feel that day, and I'm out. I spend more time on my makeup than I do the wardrobe. Okay, Man Eater Tarte Palette. Let's see, this is a quick one. I feel like it'll have some shades that I could just pop and go. I'm going to take Alluring, which is this. I'm going to take these two, these two brown shades. Mix them. Put that all over my lid. Yeah, whoops, I was, I was talking about brushes. Yeah, I was going to clean my brushes, like at least my blending brushes, my eyeshadow blending brushes yesterday. I don't know what I got caught doing. I mean, stuck doing. Because I never got around to it. Like, never. I kept saying, oh, I'm going to clean my blending brushes, especially my wet and wild blending brushes. And I never got around to it. And those, y'all know I love those brushes. All the rest of these brushes, I can do without. And make sure you get like in this crease part. Okay. Then I'm gonna take, what I'm gonna take? Heat it. No, I'm gonna take this one, Heartbreaker. I'm gonna pop that in the little inner part of my eye. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have that, since I never used this Heartbreaker. I never used it. It's kind of thick. As you can see, it's thick and fabulous. Mm -hmm. This is a nice palette also. It's kind of on the pricey side, so if you can ever see Tarte having a sale and get it on sale, then definitely pick it up. Or Ulta having it, because I got mine from Ulta, I think. Then if you ever see that, then get it on sale, because it really is a very pigmented and beautiful palette. No work needed. See there? 
take a little bit of a Lauren, which was a darker brown shade. Put that in the outer V. And eyes are done. While we're waiting on lashes, I'm going to take my Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC. And this Powder Clear Lipstick by MAC also and Influentially It. <laughs> Found this in my stash the other day. Been wearing it like crazy. You know, my perfect nude. And Boy Bait Cream Sheen Gloss. My Mac. <laughs> Little bit of my Studio Fix Powder in NW48 to lightly, very lightly, because I feel like this concealer sets itself, but I need to dust away the powder, even though I feel like it settles so nicely that it, I don't have a cast. You know, like how I would with a banana powder or a very light powder, this one is perfect. And a little bit of my MAC Blush and Breezy. I went looking for the blush the other day. You know, so that I can link it in a video. Breezy. I went looking for the lipstick, the Powder Kiss lipstick. I didn't see that. And I didn't see the Refined Zone. So I'm going to go on MAC's website to see if they actually sell it. Because I was just like on Ulta, on Macy's. I didn't go to like MAC's website. And I'll let you know if MAC sells it then I'll go ahead and link it below for you but this is this says it it's a sh sheer tone shimmer blush so that's probably why I enjoy it so much because it's not really deep you know it just gives me a very light flush of color and then I'll take my little brush blending brush and we gotta Catch these eyes, make sure they're blended to perfection. And we can spray And go get dressed <laughs> that's what I need to do okay guys I made it back and we are finished with this quick get out the door look using my favorite some of my favorite concealers the Lancome Tinted Doll all over concealer <laughs> glad I found this in my stash today because it reminded me why I love it so much let me get up close so you can see the face natural not a whole lot, not a whole lot of work needed. My blush is giving me a little sheen, huh? <laughs> he said it was a shimmer blush. Nana, I think I want to smoke out the lash line just a little bit. That's what happens when you got like a couple of minutes to spare. You always find stuff that you could be doing. Sure. Let's smoke out with that brown shade that I put in my transition. 
just to give me some color on the bottom. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, a little flush of color. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, guys, this is the completed look. If you enjoyed today's video, video, please make sure you share, like, comment, subscribe, all of that, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.